This is AS further pure mass. We're on unit four vectors and we're at 4.14, the angle between a line and a plane. So here's our line here and here's our plane. We're trying to find that angle theta. Weirdly, it's easier if you find this angle phi here now instead of finding the sine of this, if you find the cos of this or the other way around, I can't quite remember, then that's what makes it work. So we have an equation of this line, and we'll get the direction bit of that. And then this, of course, is going to be the normal to this plane. And so if we can get things in the right form, then we can take it in from there. So it says the angle between the line and the plane is the angle between the line and its projection on the plane. So that's where theta in there. In the diagram, AC is a line, and AB is its projection then on the plane. So you have to find the angle C. A, B, which is called theta. If you draw angle A, B, C, that's a right angle in there, and then theta plus phi then must equal 90 degrees. So theta equals 90 minus phi. So it means sine theta equals sine 90 minus phi, which is cos phi. Now hopefully that makes sense. So the sine of this angle is always the same as the cos of this angle. Say this is 50. Sine 50 is always the same as, sine, as cos 40. Uh, but if n is a vector perpendicular to the plane and b is a direction vector of the line, then we know that b dot n equals uh, magnitude of b, magnitude of n, cos phi. That's obviously our dot product formula. And rearranging that, then cos phi is going to be the magnitude of b dot n over magnitude of b, magnitude of n. But if you take the modulus to ensure that phi, sorry, where you take the modulus to ensure that phi and hence theta is acute. It just means that the cos isn't going to be a negative, so we're finding the acute angle in between. The other angle, of course, then would be the obtuse angle going over like that, so that's an option too. But cos phi is sine theta, so it means sine theta is equal to that as well, and then hence theta is arc sine b dot n over b n. Take a wee look at the example. It's often a better <laughs> View of what's going on. Find the acute angle between the plane with equations. Um, this and the plane with equations. Sorry. Find the acute angle between the line. And that should be with equations. That's obviously Cartesian form of it. Um, and the plane with equation 2x plus 3y minus 7z equals 5. So if we rewrite line in vector form. You should be well used to doing that now. Obviously we would have x is, so we'd let this equal phi, so it's, it's sorry, lambda, so it's going to be minus 1 plus 2 lambda. And that means then y is going to be multiplied through by 1, so it's a 1 lambda plus 2, so it's 2 plus lambda. And then z is going to be a minus 2 lambda plus 3, so it's going to be 3 minus 2 lambda. It means we can rewrite our equation then. Let's just do an axiom in thingy form. Uh, minus 1, 2, 3 plus lambda upon 2, 1. Minus two, so that's this in the that's the form that we want our line in. So we've got that, and then vector equation of plane, and we want the scalar form of that. So it's going to be r dot two three minus seven two three minus seven equals. Five. So what do we know? This here is our normal. So that's this one here. This here is a direction vector of the line. So that's this one here. And we're going to be using the dot product formula effectively to work out the phi and then change the sine to work out the theta. So let's um, like that just in a wee statement. Hopefully it'll make sense. So we want to take this down. It's a few lines here. So if AC is part of the line and AB is its projection
warm the plane. So let me move this down so you can see these wee things as we're saying. AB is the projection of the plane, AC is the line. Then we know AC is parallel to 2, 1, minus 2. Where am I getting that from? It's obviously here, the 2, 1, minus 2 part of the equation of the line. And BC, so that's this bit here, this is the normal, of course. BC is parallel to, I'll just fill that in there, only, 2, 3, minus 7. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our dot product formula for 2, 1, minus 2, dot, 2, 3, minus 7, equals A, B, cos phi. That means 4 plus 3 plus 14 equals modulus of A, 4 plus 1 plus 4 is root 9, multiplied by root 4 plus 9 plus 49, so that's going to be root 62, cos phi, that means cos phi is going to equal 21, 4 plus 3 plus 14, all over root 9, which is 3, root 62, and here's where we move, we know cos phi equals sine theta, how do we know that? This is this wee triangle here, here was our phi, we were finding, using the dot product to find the angle in between this one and this one, and here then is our theta, so cos phi equals sine theta, that means sine theta is 21 over 3 root 62 and that means theta then is 63 degrees let's say I'm just to the nearest degree so what have we done that's how we work out the angle in between a line and the plane